Beans. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And today I'm gonna to be sharing a couple of recipes that I love to make every single week. I am a creature of habit, so when I find a recipe that I really like or a meal that I'm loving, I tend to repeat until I get really sick of it and then I'm on to the next one. But this is what I've been loving lately. All of these recipes are super easy to put together. They are, of course, vegan and gluten-free, and I'm gonna share ways to make each of them high in protein as well. All the recipes will be linked below in the description box, so check that out. And if you are looking for even more vegan recipe ideas, I have a couple videos up already sharing other meals that I like to make every single week. Let me know if you enjoy these kinds of videos because I feel like they should be almost like a series every time I go through a new phase of meals that I'm loving. Um, but without further ado, let's get into cooking. The first dish I like to make can be made two ways. You can make zucchini boats or you can just make simple nachos. I love the zucchini boat option because it's an amazing way just to get in some extra veggies. And if you're watching this in the summer, zucchini is in season, so it's a great way to take advantage of that. Basically, all you do is cut them in half lengthwise and then scoop out the inside to kind of make some room for whatever filling that you're using. I'm using a plant-based chorizo, which is really good. It's made out of pea protein and adds some nice protein to this dish as well. I also added some refried beans and some vegan cheese, put this in the oven, and then you can also add toppings of choice like shredded cabbage, you could add raw onions, some peppers, and cilantro if you like. I'm personally not a cilantro fan, so I skipped on that. but so delicious and again a great way to get in veggies and i think it looks really cute the second way you can make this is just by making nachos so of course you guys probably know how to make nachos just assemble everything throw the chips in a heat safe container add your refried beans your plant-based chorizo whatever else you're adding to this dish pop it in the oven to get everything nice and melty and you may want to steam with something covered if you're having trouble melting the vegan cheese and then same thing, you can top with raw onions, some cabbage slaw, peppers, fresh herbs, and there you have it. The protein in this dish comes from the chorizo and it also adds so much flavor to the base of this dish. So I love this as an option. The second dish I really like to make is a vegetable soup and you could really vary the vegetable that you use. I went for something very simple and the green veggies that were in season. I opted for some fresh peas and zucchini, but you could also experiment with broccoli, asparagus, truly any green vegetable that you like. And I think this is such an amazing way to get some extra veggies in your diet. To make this soup, it's pretty simple. Start by sauteing your aromatics. So I usually like to use some kind of allium, garlic, onion, shallot, whatever you have on hand will work. Once everything is nice and sauteed, you can also add some chili flakes, some seasonings of choice, and then saute your vegetables really quickly. When you're ready, add your vegan broth to the pot and then bring everything to a nice boil and then lower to a simmer to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes just so everything is nice and tender. And then transfer to a blender, blend it all up and adjust to taste if you need with any salt, pepper, or anything you'd like to add. You can also make the soup creamy by adding a little bit of plant-based milk or even some raw cashews into the blender. Again, this is my favorite because it's so simple. You need very few ingredients and it's really easy to modify with whatever you have on hand. So this is also an amazing recipe for using up any old vegetables. And if you want to add some protein to this dish, I highly recommend serving it with some plant-based high protein noodles. So you could use like a lentil pasta or a chickpea based pasta and make it sort of a noodle soup. Okay, the last dish is a pesto orzo. So to make this, it's really simple. You start by preparing your pesto. I like to make one with either an avocado base or for a high protein option, I recommend using a pumpkin seed pesto. I have both recipes listed on my blog. Pumpkin seeds are just such an amazing way to sneak in protein. And I think it's a great alternative to the usual nut situation when you're making pesto, which is traditionally made with pine nuts. Of course, you wanna use some fresh basil, lots of garlic and lemon juice. And then after you have your pesto nice and blended, you just wanna stir it into your cooked orzo. I'm actually using a gluten-free orzo, but you can use a chickpea-based orzo for a lot more extra protein to add on to this dish. I also recommend throwing in some kind of crunchy veggie. I went for sugar snap peas, which I sliced on the diagonal, but anything else you wanna add for texture is really lovely, like fresh peas would be amazing here as well. Okay, beans, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to do more or you want some more easy meal ideas, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for even more meal inspiration, don't forget to check out the other videos that I've already shared. I will link those below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you try any of the recipes, let me know, share on Instagram, tag me so I can see your beautiful creations and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.